I'm getting fed some nice, beautiful Korean chicken right now. Oh. Yo, man, that is delicious. Look at the chunks of chili in there. That is so crazy good. All right, let's do this. Oh, man. We're socially distancing and being very responsible human beings right now. What's up, Zach? <laughs> Yo, it's Mo, and tonight I had a massive craving for some ramen. So I'm down here, I'm in JLT, and I'm at a super dope shop called Wokyo. That's Tokyo with a W. I think they merged the wok and the Tokyo together and they serve up some delicious street-inspired Japanese-style noodles. So they've got ramen, they got yakisoba, they got a bunch of stuff. But I'm here for miso ramen today. I've also got some K-pop fried chicken on the menu. This is something new that they're serving it for the first time. I've got some pan fried gyoza. When we're hitting up something super strange at the end, they've got some milk tea, some Thai milk tea soft serve ice cream that they serve with sriracha. Yeah, dude, <laughs> sriracha. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. I love both the things. I don't know how it's gonna taste. All right, let's do this. Hey! What's up, guys? You guys are good? I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm here with Zach. Zach is the owner of Wokyo and he's brought me my miso style ramen right here. I've got a bunch of stuff on it. I've got some dumplings over there. I'm gonna be dipping into that broth and I've got this Gohan right here, rice, to finish everything off. And it's the super spicy edition, right? Can you walk us through yes. this ramen, please? Spot on. This is the extra spicy version of Sapporo style ramen. Uh, this is for the adventurous, the beast. <laughs> <laughs> the faint-hearted. Uh, we do standard ramen and then we do mild flavor as a standard, but this option is for the brave. Well, is it like super spicy? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> what, have you, what have you got in there? Um, it's extra chili from Hokkaido. So oh. Dry with sesame oil and plus uh, fresh chili. That will... Uh, That'll blow my face off. Okay. Blame you off. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it, man. Thank you very much, Zach. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the chunks of chili in there. All right. As they say in Japan, itadakimasu. So I'm not entirely sure how spicy this ramen is. Uh, this is the first time he served it and it's got some serious looking peppers inside. I generally put a lot of chili oil and um, this shichimi togarashi on top, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be a bit cautious first because <laughs> he said it's gonna blow my face off. So I'm gonna give it a taste. I'm gonna let you guys know if it does blow my face off or not. I'm kind of I'm super excited. I've got some dumplings on this too. Some really cool dumplings that he's recommended I dip into the miso broth. So let's do that. <laughs> All right, let's go through this. You've got a lot of sesame. Look at those big peppers over there, dude. Damn. And we got some bamboo shoots, some slices of bamboo shoots. We've got some beautiful spring onions. Let's get to that noodle at the bottom. Yeah, sun. Look at that. Yes. Beautiful. That smells so super fragrant right now. <laughs> Nice and hot. All right, let's mix this up. Let's mix this bad boy up right here. And let's get a first bite. Right, let's get some chili on the first bite. I'm gonna do it. All right, let's get some chicken, some chili. Here we go. Bam! All right, let's try this super spicy miso style ramen. Let's go. Mmm. Yo, man, that is delicious. I'm not gonna blow my face off, but that is delicious. It's actually the right amount of heat that I like in my ramen that I would generally put in from the chili oil or the togarashi. And that pepper adds a really nice crunch to it as well. It's got a very, mmm, super nice taste to it. And you got a bit of chase of the heat in the back as well. That is delicious. All right, let's grab some more of this beautiful noodle here. Look at that, dude. They're so like chewy and bouncy, and I love the flavors coming out of it. This is an, it was a 12 hour broth, he's told me. You can definitely feel that in there. I'll just rehydrate those noodles before. I'm gonna take another big bite. Look at that. All right, ready? Let's do this. Mmm. That is delicious. Here we got some beautiful 
pan-fried gyoza right here. Check that out, man. Look at the glisten on that. That is a beauty of a dumpling. And he's recommended for us to go ahead and dip that inside the miso ramen broth. So I'm gonna go ahead for that and get some nice, ooh, look at that. You know what, I'm gonna actually put that on the spoon and I'm gonna slurp it up with that broth right there. Oh, well, you know what? I'm gonna put some chili on that too. <laughs> Those chili peppers are actually really nice. Let's rehydrate this dumpling again. I actually had dumpling like that before with ramen. I've had that in Thailand in something called Bami Kyo Kai Dang, but I've never had it with ramen. Seems like an almost natural thing to do. And I think that's how I'm gonna have my gyozas from now on. I'm gonna dip them in my ramen, man, that is delicious. And let me go for the egg. Let me go for the egg. Here, let's do it, let's get the egg on top. Or you know what, forget that, dude. I'm gonna go all out here. I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get this gyoza. <laughs> I'm gonna get this gyoza right here. I'm gonna put it on this egg. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you got to, man. This looks like it's too good to miss out on. Oh, dude. Let's do this. Got some miso, super spicy miso ramen gyoza <laughs> with the egg. All right, let's go. <laughs> that is insane that is so crazy good because like the wrapper of the dumpling is super chewy not super chewy but it's nice al dente and you've got that burst from inside the gyoza as well as the burst from that egg that boiled egg and then you got the spiciness chasing after it man from that miso ramen broth that is an amazing spoon and i tell you guys you must all try that spoon at least once in your life. Holy crap, that was awesome. One thing I really do suck at, I, I suck and I can't understand how people slurp the noodles so fast. My friend Masato, he just comes to my house sometimes, he noodles with me, and the dude just like races all those noodles into his mouth and I can't understand why and how, how he does that. He does it even with papaya salad. <laughs> he does it with anything that is in a strip shape. <laughs> Okay, so this is how to strap in the lamin, right? Like that. And then... I need some practice. That sucks. <laughs> Gohan is going inside to absorb all oh, that broth. Yes, son. <laughs> Don't leave that broth, man. That broth is good stuff right there. I knew I've saved that egg for a reason. That was a delicious bowl of ramen. Can you tell? <laughs> Many of you guys might not know what this is, but this is Ramune Kimura. And this is a Japanese style cream soda. The way you open this drink can actually get super messy because it's like bottled the old school way. If you twist the top, it actually has a ball inside that will drop down and bring all those fizzes back up. So I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. I'm gonna try to not make a huge mess. <laughs> Let's take off this plastic lid from the top here. There we go. So how we open this is there is a, you see this thing right here? This pink guy right here? You gotta remove this part is what protects it. And that's where you're gonna use, that's your little tool to use it to push that ball inside. 
then that's how you basically open this. Everything is sealed inside, all the gases are there, everything's gonna come fizzing right up. I'm gonna use a bit of tissue, that's why I've got it in my hand, because this is gonna get a little bit messy. I'm gonna push it on the top here. All right, you ready? For some Rimone Kimura? All right, let's do this. Oh, man. <laughs> That is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, kanpai. There we go. Rimone Kimura. You see that little ball there? Look at that. So that's the ball that basically holds everything in airtight. And that's what wakes up all that fizz. So Zach just told me that those two dimples is what's supposed to stop this ball from going back up into that hole to just basically stop you from your drink flow. So that's pretty cool, man. Even these little little design. Japanese people think of everything, dude. They think of everything, seriously. <laughs> these guys are awesome. All right, let's, let's take a good sip of this. I believe it's a cream soda, right? Yeah. It's cream soda. All right, let's go. Oh, it's so nice and refreshing. It's not like the other cream sodas that I've had. Other cream sodas are like super aggressive, but this is actually really light, fizzy. I love the color too, it's just clear. <laughs> you don't have that red or yellow or anything like that. Straight up. Homemade milk roasted sambal. Wow. What do you guys put in the sambal? Well, normally there is balachan in it, the, the shrimp paste. Okay. Uh, but we wanted to cater to vegan uh, right. uh, community Amazing. and let them enjoy the Indonesian flavors. So we made a vegan sambal. Uh, milk roasted chili, garlic, tomato. Dope, man. That is awesome. So vegan sambal. Vegan sambal. Yeah, no, I've never had vegan sambal before. It's always been with shrimp paste. It's spicy, right? Spicy. <laughs> this is yeah. Music uh, to my ears. Well, I mean, this is a Jakarta style soba. As you heard, Zach said this is a homemade sambal and it's a vegan sambal. It looks beautiful, man. I've got some chicken pieces in here. These noodles look Oh man, I love this. Look at that. It's just coated in it. All right. I haven't had wok fried soba in such a long time. Let's try this one out here. Let's get a big old bite, man. Look at that. Look at the size of that. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> that looks like a fun bite, doesn't it? Like a massive bite of this. Mmm. That is awesome. That is so much fun to eat as well. Because it's so nice and when you get all those little strands of noodles together, it just becomes like this really nice thick chopstick full right in your mouth, man. You just chew on it and you get all those flavors starting to release from that sambal as well. I'm actually super surprised. That sambal is really nice. I didn't think vegan sambal would be this good, but it's actually super, super nice. You got a lot of different flavors going on there as well. Look at this. Look at all that. You got some tomatoes in there too. You got cherry tomatoes. Look at that. The nice big pieces of chicken. Just coated. Look at that. That cherry tomato actually, like, there was a big burst of flavor from that here. Seeds just pop out of everywhere, man. Look at that. So nice. Going down, digging at the bottom here. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's do another. Another chopstick full of that. I really had fun eating that one. <laughs> this is proper soul food right here, man. This is what you want to eat when you come home after a long day. And you just want to sit and do nothing and just enjoy this quietly. Look at this. Beautiful. All right, let's go. I'm super happy I tried that. That is really delicious. What's that? <laughs> no, Nina, you gotta get a bigger one than that. What do you do? Okay. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Wait, what, what are you doing? I'm trying. <laughs> I destroyed the cherry tomato. It's okay, it's okay. It's still intact. All right. Are you good? It's nice, right? It's like nice and soul. I want to try to get soul feeding. Chicken with that blank. Mm. That's delicious, huh? It's crazy. It's sambal, but for some reason, it just tastes very fresh. Yeah. Like, I think the tomato gives it that fresh. 
Yeah, absolutely, I, I love that sambal actually in there. Okay, it's really it. nice, and it makes the um, the noodles so nice and dense too. I love that. Yeah. Mm. Right? Nice and spicy sambal, huh? Mm. <laughs> Honestly, that cherry tomato makes that bite worth it. Right? Just that big pop, huh? Mm -hmm. It's delicious. All right, we've got some K-pop soft fried chicken here. Look at that, dude. Look at the sauce on that. And we've got some tteokbokki here as well. If you guys don't know what tteokbokki is, this is a Korean style rice cake that is super hard to pick up with your chopstick. I'm like failing. <laughs> so hard to grab this thing. But yes, this is a like bouncy, springy rice cake. It's almost like a extremely fat noodle if you look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take a piece of chicken right here, this K-pop chicken. And I'm gonna try my best to grab it with the tteokbokki at the same time. Let's do some pro skills. Oh, snap, got some pro skills going on right here, dude. All right, let's do this. Tteokbokki and K-pop fried chicken, let's go. Mmm, mmm. That batter is really, really nice. Chicken is nice and crunchy and crispy. Got that mochi like texture from that tteokbokki. My only problem before when I used to have K-pop or sorry K-pop right any Korean fried chicken was that it was way too sweet. But this one is not that sweet at all, and I'm actually really enjoying this one. Got a super nice crunch to it. You got that sesame seed over there. Gives it some really nice flavor, man. And that batter is just perfectly seasoned batter there. All right, let's go. I'm gonna take another bite. I'm gonna chase it down with another tteokbokki as well. Yeah, crunch. Mmm. This tteokbokki is so hard to pick up. <laughs> it's so small, but it's so hard to pick up. Oh, yeah. It just absorbs all that sauce that's inside. It's like a slightly sweet, slightly savory, tomatoey style sauce that's inside. It's got a bit of spiciness to it as well. Super delicious. One of Nina's favorite things is tteokbokki. She's gonna go ahead and try some of that right now. She's lathering it up, dude. I'm going for the rice cake before the chicken. Really? Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that sauce. The sauce is good, huh? Mm. Got a bit of sweetness to it, a bit of a sourness and savory, and it's really nice. Crunchy, like. Peanuts. Yeah, it's a bit nutty too, isn't it? Mm. I'm getting some, get some chicken peanuts. now. I'm trying to find like a small piece. <laughs> <laughs> Just get the big piece. Okay. Nice. That's a nice big piece. Oh, that's right. spicy. Yeah, it's good. Mm. All right, we're with Chino. Chino's gonna walk us through yeah. these K-pop <laughs> fried chicken right here. So, what's in the sauce, Chino? Yeah, actually, what's in the sauce? That's basically our uh, Seoul Korean uh, chili sauce. Mm -hmm. And of course, you had uh, crispy fried boneless fried chicken with a tapioca on top and peanut. Yeah, that's what you have tasted. And I know you loved it. Yeah, right? yeah, it was <laughs> dope, man. It's yeah, super yeah. nice and spicy. Thank you. I'm getting fed some nice, beautiful Korean chicken. Wow. Right <laughs> That was awesome. This is the first time I meet Zach. Can you see Zach in the back? <laughs> it's because we're socially distancing and being yes. very responsible human beings right now. What's up, Zach? <laughs> so Zach was kind enough to walk us through a lot of the dishes today at Walkio, man. We had an awesome time over here. Super, super fun place. If you guys haven't been here, there's lanterns everywhere, super bright lights and all that good stuff. And then just all you gotta do is Ask for Zach the man, he'll shoot up here behind this wooden contraption <laughs> here to help you. <laughs> I dare to bother you before you enjoy your thing. Let me give you one of our souvenirs here, okay? All right, cool. There you go. There we go. Nice. Wow. Thanks for the photo, man. Absolutely. Check that out, man. I got a nice uh, photo, Polaroid photo from Wokyo. <laughs> enjoy. Thank enjoy. you very much, Chino. Thanks. Super sweet people that work here, man. I love, you know, like food is one thing. You know, if you cook great food at a restaurant, that's 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 amazing. But if you have amazing people who also work at the restaurant, that's just a whole different level of experience, man. You just feel like you're at home here at Wokyo. 
I really like it. You know, you guys standing here, they're always just waiting to make you happy, you know, and, and you just feel like the sense of like, you know, like, like hominess. It's really, really nice, you know? And to get Polaroid photos like this and being able to clown around and have fun with the with Zach and Chino out over here walking with man, it's, it's a really special experience and it's something that I love. Look at that, that's so cool. Is that upside down? <laughs> Yay, sweet man. That's awesome. Thanks a lot guys, that's very sweet. All right, we got um, two soft serves to end tonight with. One is a matcha green tea soft serve and the other one is what I've been looking forward to the whole night which is a Thai milk tea soft serve with sriracha on top. This is going to be the Thai milk tea flavor ice cream. Holy moly. Yes, really nice, you're going to love it. And that's a chocolate uh, cone? Yeah, that's, that's a, a chocolate cone. cone. Nice, okay, so I'm not, I don't trust myself to put the sriracha on it. <laughs> so, so when am I gonna do it? Have it as is first. Oh, so you want me to try it? <laughs> and then you want me to destroy it with the sriracha? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so this is, Thai milk tea. I'm Thai and I love Thai milk tea. So let's give this a taste before we destroy it with sriracha. Mmm. That's super nice, dude. That's milk flavor soft serve with Thai milk tea. So you've got that nice roasted flavor from that Thai iced tea as well that's in there, man. That is super nice. That is so refreshing as well. You know, you gotta try this. Mm. How nice is that? It's really nice. Right? I can taste the iced tea. Uh, the Thai, Thai iced yeah, tea. Thai. Yeah, <laughs> And is this like sesame cone? No, it's a chocolate cone. Oh, it's a good you should not have said that. <laughs> Alright, mm. are we ready to make this a sriracha cone now? I think so. Alright, let's do it. Melting. <laughs> so this is going on top of that. Uh, who thought of this idea? Zach? <laughs> Zach, you're a psychopath. <laughs> I love it too, but I'm not sure about this one. Okay, let's let's make it look fun though. That's good enough? <laughs> Even Zach's telling me to stop. Stop! <laughs> Alright, let's give this a taste. Sriracha, Thai tea, milk, ice cream, soft serve. So many things in the sentence. Alright, let's go. What did I just eat? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Holy crap, man, what was that? <laughs> I can't say I don't like it. It's like so strange and so foreign to me. But you know what? It's like Thai tea with like garlic. <laughs> <laughs> and like sour, sweet, and milky. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's not bad. It's not something I was like, oh, it's nasty. That, it's so interesting that you need to try it to understand what it tastes like. I, I don't know how to explain it to you besides sriracha milk tea. That's as basic as I can get. But you get a sourness, you get the all the good flavors of sriracha and all the good flavors of iced tea at the same time. And I think I know why it's not foreign. The reason why it's not foreign is because generally I would eat food with sriracha on it and then wash it down with my Thai milk tea. So this is like a meal in one. This is a lazy man's version of a full meal. <laughs> but I did enjoy this. This is super nice. I need to go try this. I think I'm okay. You're okay? <laughs> this is the matcha soft serve right here in a cocoa cone. That cone is so cool. No, you go for it, Nina. It's got your name all over it. Matcha's your jam. You can never go wrong with matcha. <laughs> mm. That's crazy. How does it taste with the coca? Try it with the cone. Oh. Mm. Is it good? It's really nice. Do you want to try? Yeah, I want to try it. Try it yeah. Guess what's happening, homie? <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Bring it. Yo, yo. Milk tea? We got to try it with matcha too. Sriracha matcha. A match made in heaven. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Ooh, it looks pretty too. Oh, look at that. So we got some sriracha matcha soft serve. Looks like an emoji wearing glasses. All right, let's do this. That is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> How? 
How? How? How does it taste good with this one? It tastes bad with this one. That is gross. Don't do that. That is really nasty. <laughs> back, back to thanks, man. Thank you. It is absolutely boiling outside. 32 degrees at night. 50% humidity, and my ice cream is melting faster than I can possibly eat it. So this is going to be my final bite. But before I go, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Zach, to Chino, the whole team at Wakio, cooking up some of the best soul food that I've had in a really long time, dude. That ramen was incredible. That Jakarta soba was amazing. All the gyoza, the Korean fried chicken, everything was a home run tonight, man. And the icing on the cake was that Thai milk tea soft serve with sriracha. I don't even know what the hell that was and where that came from, but you guys definitely need to try it out. All right, it's Mo. This is the Sauce Beast, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Let me drink this puddle real quick. <laughs> Things melting like mad. Mmm. Hey, little buddy. You want some ramen? Coming for some ramen? <laughs> Cutie.